Hey Virgo, I'm doing a weekly reading here for you, October 18th through the 24th, Monday through Sunday. Okay, so Monday it looks like you feel like there's something out of your grasp or something is slipping away, something or someone. Tuesday, we have the Two of Cups and the Page of Cups reversed, so that's a weird combo. It's like, okay, let me just say this. So it kind of looks like this is the overall feel I get. If you're seeing someone, I kind of have a feeling it's a water sign. Yeah, there's a good indication that a lot of you are seeing a water sign. And I don't think they want to reveal their feelings for you quite yet. Or like really, really reveal them, you know, like their deepest feelings. I think they're kind of hiding their feelings or feeling shy about it maybe. But I feel like they're such a fool for you. <laughs> okay, um... I, I just see, for some reason, I don't see your reading here as a day by day, like this going to happen this day or that day. I just get an overall feeling of, yeah, I think someone is such a fool for you. You make their life so happy that you make their heart flutter. You really do. But let me try to do this day by day. Okay, Monday, yeah, something's like slipping out of your, out of your reach. Tuesday, it's like someone... If you have a get together with someone Tuesday, Wednesday, or anytime this week, it, yeah, like I said, that's the day too where I saw that someone's just not revealing their feelings fully to you. Wednesday, here's Wednesday right here, the Three of Cups and the Queen of Cups. There's a full moon on Wednesday, and that looks like nighttime. The moon's out. You also have the moon card over here on Thursday. Um,. So Wednesday, there could be a get-together. If it's not with a lover, maybe it's friends, family. It just looks like a feel-good, happy, wholehearted kind of day on Wednesday. Now, Thursday, you could be having some arguments. Uh, make sure you don't make a bad judgment call. Maybe someone's making a bad judgment call on you or something. But it just looks a little crazy for some reason on Thursday. Uh, Friday looks good, too. Friday, there could be either a new start in love, a something new going on or you're introduced to someone it could be that you're introduced to someone but uh friday friday looks good saturday let's look at saturday yeah saturday if you get together with your person that's where i saw that they have these sunshiny feelings for you and like they're just such a fool for you and they i think they love you a lot and like I said, they're holding back. If you get together with your person or talk to them on Saturday, that's the day that I, I have all those feelings. They're, they're resisting to really, really show you how much they really care about you and love you. Uh, Sunday, what's going on Sunday here? That's a day you need to go with your gut instinct. Something to do with work there, perhaps. There's something about work. Use your, use your intuition around work situations or someone you're working with. I think some of you could be with the Taurus, too. We have... How many aces do I have here? There's two... Okay, two aces came out for you. The Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So, yeah, if you have recently had someone slip out of your grasp here run off from you like this I, that's your monday right there but i kind of feel like that's an indicator of maybe that's something in your recent past and now you have a new love for, yeah so for those of you have who have a new love i think it's the message of it's going to go good but they may not completely show that yeah I, I have a feeling your person may be a bit on the shy side so virgo that's your weekly reading for October 18th to the 24th, and I hope you have a good one. Let me know how it goes for you.